you know, we think about diversity and inclusion uh, in a very simple way. We call it the three E's. It also brings a smile to your face when you say E's. Uh, it's about equal opportunity for everyone at every step. So what does that mean from a recruiting standpoint? In today's world, anybody and everybody should have the opportunity to apply for a job. They should have an equal opportunity to get assessed, to get screened for it, to find the right opportunity, to get scheduled, all in a very fair way. We think of that as one of the ultimate principles that people who even start pushing for DNI wanted to push for. And the way our version of AI solves for it is by creating an unconscious bias removed automated conversation that really helps people go from point A to point B, finding a job, screening, scheduling, all of it. We think that is gonna enable maximum throughput of people to come through the process and then we'll have the opportunity to at least bubble up the right talent. We talk about ourselves as a HR communication platform provider or something to help HR communicate better. And it's, it's funny because there isn't a single vendor out there, there isn't a single company out there that brands themselves that way. And the reason we have this insight is, you know, as you think about HR in a company, you think about a corporate function. You don't think about HR as somebody I can just walk up to and have a conversation. You think, oh my God, HR wrote to me, there must be something wrong. Or if I'm writing to HR, there is something wrong. We want to break down those barriers. We want HR to become an unbiased friend of talent. And the talent could be candidates, the talent could be employees. That's the, that's the ultimate vision that we have for HR. And our idea of why somebody cares about it, how we can help them in doing that, is for this communication platform to work, it needs to be on a channel where you chat with your friends, for example, texting, for example, through different apps, as well as it needs to appear like a friendly conversation. And this is why we have focused so much on a text-friendly automated conversation that really takes you from point A to point B, uh, because that's what we believe HR needs to feel like. There's so much happening out there and so much conversation happening around bias and AI. Truth be told, AI, the way it developed was statistical systems, right? Which later became more neural network based systems. And by definition, they have bias in them. One, the data that is fed into it, right? The data that is fed into it is data that has been curated. So in a sense, there is bias that exists in the system. The only problem with the AI system is that oftentimes that bias, it's hard for people to even know that there is an inherent bias. Like where is the bias? It's hard to figure that out. So I, I think about employers who are trying to deploy this new cool technology and they really want to take advantage of it, but they don't know how to question it. And I feel like I want to give them two questions to ask any of their AI vendors going forward. The first question is, what data did you use to train the system to become smart the way it has become, right? Where did you get the data? How did you curate the data? How did you make sure it doesn't have bias built into it or as much bias as uh, we are comfortable with built into it? So that's point number one. The second one is as your system will continue to learn from the data that I provide you, how would you ensure that it won't automatically start stereotyping people or stereotyping hires? How will it become smart in a way that I understand and that I can direct the system then to choose something versus discard something so that it works for me versus trying to tell me what to do? So I think those are the two questions. How did you train it and how is it going to learn? How is it going to take my feedback directly into the system that I think will help make AI much more amenable to enterprise needs today?